It's time for another cafe review where we look at food, coffee and bike parking and today we're at Leighton's Beach which is a dog beach and you can see down there hopefully quite a few dogs being walked or run up and down the beach and uh, it's this is a, an absolutely cracking spot. You might be thinking how do you get a view this good from a cafe when they don't allow building you know kind of up to uh, you know this point. Well it's easy. What you do is you get a license from the council to uh, park a bus that's been converted into a kitchen here every day and that's what they do this is the bus cafe you can see it's an old uh, you know metro bus of some sort and uh, they're here at seven o'clock in the morning and you can see there's the menu and yes you can't read it but I'll tell you it's very very basic uh, they can't really prep a heck of a lot of stuff in the kitchen there but you know there's a reasonable amount of seating here for I don't know 20 odd people I guess and yes, it, uh, it really is very, very sandy. Uh, I ended up uh, with a bit of sand in my shoes after that. So where's Leighton's Beach? Uh, just north of Fremantle. Uh, you know, it's on the beach. There's the ocean. That'll do, I guess. And the way to get there is, well, we rode down the shared path, jumped off at this kind of spur line and uh, crossed this rather busy road. And there we are. Boom. We're at the cafe. And of course we rode straight past some really good secure convenient bike parking. I, I don't know why we did that. We could have parked the bikes there and still been able to keep an eye on them. But no, we had to go and lean them up against a, a pole of some sort. Uh, but it's pretty easy to tell if the bus is there because you can see it from a mile away. And being a dog beach, this place is really, I think, set up for dog owners uh, more than anyone else. So if you don't like dogs, uh, just don't come here. Just forget about it because... There were, oh, I think at least three dogs here while we were here, and they're all quite friendly. And, you know, they've got a dog bowl set up, and you could probably fill your bid on up from that water bottle if you had to. Um, you can, you know, you can buy a human treat. You can buy a doggy treat. Um, and, yeah. But, look, the view is great. It's just a really nice spot. And it was a beautiful day for it. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't cold. It wasn't windy. But it just really didn't get any cyclists. And you can see there your classic Perth cyclist. You know, that guy's in bare feet, no helmet, just cruising along the beach. See them just all over the place. Uh, but we were the only cyclist here. And we, what we had was a toasted salami something or other, which was, you know, very basic. Nothing wrong with it. And uh, some bruschetta covered in, you know, avocado and feta and stuff like that. You know, your typical kind of smashed avocado and and that was it they really didn't have any other choices but check out that straw since they've gone to paper straws they've really started getting some absolute bazookas as opposed to the old skinny plastic straws uh, but why aren't there many cyclists here well okay i wasn't here long enough to really judge uh you know how many cyclists turn up i'd probably have to come back and sit there for an hour or so but i think part of the problem is getting across this very busy road so you can you know you can see trucks going past they're going to and from uh, the port of Fremantle just down the road here and obviously there's a lot of people commuting to and from work so this road is quite a nightmare to get across we choose chose to come uh, out this other um, pathway because there was an island in the middle of the road and we thought well it might be a bit safer to use that island to get back and forth there is a school next door they have a flag person there in the morning and afternoons but hey they weren't there for us so you can see how long it took to get across the road and i think that's probably a bit off putting you know people just don't want to wait but hey it is what it is you know a safer crossing would be really really good so yeah the bus cafe um certainly you know an interesting place to go and visit um you know the food like i said really basic don't expect much of it but the views cracking the coffee was quite good uh atmosphere is good friendly people and it's it's something different so if you're bored of you know going to fancy cafes with fancy food you know give this one a crack